Hello everybody! <laughs> what is up fitness fam and welcome back to my channel. I really hope you guys are well and are doing well and are feeling well. Today we are going to do a full body workout, another at home workout for y'all. I've seen great feedback on these videos so I just thought to myself, okay why not continue them? So that is what we are doing today. All you really need for this workout is a pair of dumbbells as I already mentioned probably a million times before. I got these from Target, so if you don't know where to get dumbbells from, you can get them from Target or you can get them from Amazon.com or wherever else you get your hands on a pair of dumbbells. And also, more importantly, I know this is not like an official cup, but I find it so necessary to drink some kind of pre-workout whenever I work out at home. It is really hard to sometimes to get up and get into that workout mindset when you're just at home so what i like to do a little tip for all of you watching is that i like to pretend like i'm going to the gym so i get ready i shower or i put on a bomb outfit whatever makes me feel like i'm about to do something and then of course i drink some pre-workout so basically you're setting yourself up for success like that you're probably more likely to have a better workout than just like putting on whatever or you're working out in your I don't know, pajamas or whatever, or that old t-shirt you've probably been wearing for a couple of days. So I highly recommend to take some pre-workout if you want to get the one that I get. This is from my protein and I always pick the black cherry vanilla flavor. I'll make sure to link it down below if you would like one of your own. I also want to mention that the outfit I'm wearing today is also from my protein. So if you would like to spoil yourself with some awesome workout gear, I highly recommend to check it out as well. And with that said, let's get into this workout routine. For the longest time, I've been trying to find someone like you, but I keep crashing back into all the things that you would do. What is up you guys and welcome to this video's voiceover. Starting off with this little three movements exercise. So first it's an RDL, then you go into a front lunge and then to shoulder press. So for each one of the reps, I alternate between uh, my left to my right leg, so it's not just one-sided only. So the max total of this reps for this exercise is in total and not for each leg. So starting with the RDL, you want to hinge back but keep your back and spine neutral. You want to really feel it in your glutes and hamstrings. After that, you go into the front lunge, but keep the movement slow and controlled. I have a whole video talking about lunges. I highly recommend for you to watch if you have problem with your lunges. And then in the lunge position, I like to keep my weight off the ground. So hold the lunge movement without putting my knee on the ground. It makes the exercise 10 times harder when you're doing the shoulder press. So moving on to pulse goblet squats. I prefer to keep my dumbbells high, so make sure to keep your lats engaged. Also your core, you want to keep your core nice and tight throughout this movement. I prefer to keep my chest up and open and try to keep my torso as upright as possible. I also stand a little bit closer than I feel like a lot of people are normally standing in their pulse goblet squats. This is just the position of my feet that I feel the most comfortable with, but obviously stand where you feel the most comfortable. Normally it's shoulder width apart. And then I like to keep my toes pointed outwards. But here's the trick. I like to press the front of my foot down to the ground and pushed outwards. And like that you activate your glutes more in your squat as well. So moving on to the push-ups. So obviously you don't have to do them like me, it's just like full on push-ups. You can also go on your knees, which I will also be demonstrating. So in both of these push-ups variations, you want to make sure to tuck in your pelvis, tuck in your glutes. You don't want an overarched lower back. You want to be almost like stiff as a board when you're doing push-ups and just let your upper body do the work, but you also want to stay stiff as a plank at the same time to get the most out of the movement. Next exercise is reverse lunges very basic very beginner friendly i really love reverse lunges not only is because this movement you can keep progressing on but it's also a movement that i recommend for a lot of my either beginner clients or clients that have problem with their knees because the force goes backwards and not forwards so you still get all the benefits from the lunge movement without having any issues with where to place all of your force So moving on to the last exercise, which is just donkey kicks. These are more pulse-like donkey kicks. 
I also in this movement recommend to tuck in your pelvis at first. I know this exercise does have a natural arch to it, but you definitely don't want to over arch as well as you're doing the donkey kicks. And you don't necessarily have to do the pulse version that I'm doing, but I just prefer the constant tension in the glutes, especially because it's a more glute isolated exercise. you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this workout and are going to try it out let me know if you have any questions about this workout if you have any questions about what to do more of what to do next or anything that has to do with fitness i do offer workout programs if you would like more help from me specifically uh, you can either join my app which i would highly recommend because i have so many workout programs in there you can just follow along every single month but you can also just get workout programs separately it is all up to you but again i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to watch more videos like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and i'll see you guys in my next video hopefully <laughs> bye bye